Hey y'all, it's Elle, and this is my first webisode for the Elmatic View, which is again a video blog. I'll be just simply giving you my opinion on different topics every 1st and 15th, and occasionally I'll be doing web exclusives, which this month I plan to do a web exclusive, so be on the lookout for those postings on Facebook or Instagram, and that is the Elmatic View. Today I'll be talking about a collaborative um, topic, which will be millennials and social media, which as we know they tie in very well together because we are the generation of social media so um first i'll get into explaining what millennials are and we'll go from there and just to let you guys know i may be looking down because i have a piece of paper with some notes this is my first time so just bear with me and i hope you guys enjoy and leave with something that's very meaningful millennials is a term that was created by william strauss and neil howe in the year 1987 approximately um this is a term that described young adults reaching adulthood around the year 2000, but they could have been born between 1984 and 2004. Um, these guys worked rigorously um, to gain research and prophesy the development of millennials with two books, one in 1991 called um, The History of America's Future, 1584 to 2069. They also wrote a book in 2000 entitled Millennials Rising the Next Great Generation. Um, I believe millennials are the game changers. We are the face of the new world. We are the generation of multitaskers, innovators, um, tech savvy. I seem to believe that we're loveless. We have this philosophy of fuck bitches to get money. <laughs> we are disrespectfully fearless. Um, I think that we deem for instant gratification and recognition. We tend to be impulsive. Um, I feel like sometimes we believe that we can just cut four years of education and just read for a year and you know, that's it. And that's not to say that we're not fancy on formal education. I believe that we are smart enough to know that it's more to the world than what they want us to know. Um, this generation is a generation of transparency to me. Um, crabs in a barrel syndrome, social media being our first and only religion. And I'll get into that, you know, a little bit later. Um, we're like a walking oxymoron simply because we're trendsetters, but we're followers too. It's like we know better, but we don't do better. And we don't do better because we fear not being accepted. We fear being different. Um, we only, we're only receptive to change if it's convenient for us. Um, we, hate that, we hate to hear that we're not right, um, which is a great sense of pride and a lack of ownership, uh, which makes the growing process very difficult. Uh, and I'm, trust me, I'm not excluded from this situation. That's why I'm able to self-assess. And that makes me sometimes feel like I'm cut from a different cloth because I know when I'm wrong and I'm able to sit back and say, hey, do something different. Maybe that's just the arrogant millennial that I that I am. So <laughs> um, I do believe that the elders before us did not give us this pamphlet to crack the safe of this thing called life because after the crack epidemic, they were so busy trying to reinvent themselves, which is a totally different topic, but hope you guys understand where I'm coming from when I do say that. Um, but what I want to talk about is the age of Aquarius, which is codenamed social media. Um, social media is the blueprint to the gift and the curse. Uh, we have unlimited access to the world. We never have time to turn off. We are constantly moving and shaking rocking but we're never steady and when i say steady is that we don't have time to sit back and understand what's going on we don't um have time to stop and just chill and just wrap our mind around certain things so from that being said we we give so much of ourselves to this other world that we don't understand what the real world is so we're constantly building facades and um coming up with one story after another to as to who we are that we tend to lose ourselves um we'll even exploit ourselves for this claim to fame and it's, it kind of sucks but i've seen it so many different times and like i said I, i'm able to self-assess myself um with that as well we don't understand that um life is testimony we don't have time for vulnerability um we feel as though uh, we can't be vulnerable without being scorned as if we're not human. It's like we live in the world of the Jetsons, which is very unrealistic. Um, everybody is rich, everybody is a savage, everybody is happy, nobody gets their heart broken. Um, we can be whoever we wanna be with a flick of the wrist. And it's kind of odd, to say the less, to say the least. Social media, uh, we have based our lives off memes, futures lyrics, and living vicariously through the Kardashians. Um, we do a lot of settling, a lot of blaming, um, a lot of waiting for things to fall in our lap from the sky without prayer, faith, and action. 
Again, that's simply my opinion. Um, I don't mean to go so hard, but I did say I was giving it to you straight up, no chaser. So you can take it or you can leave it. But um, once again, it's the things I know, notice within myself. And that doesn't mean that this is for all millennials, but I do believe that this is for the bulk of this generation. Um, we are so quick to say, I do me. And then that's the last thing that we do. Because as soon as Future say he popping his annual perk, everybody doing it too. And that thus we have a generation of sleepers. Uh, we have a generation of heroin addicts by the pill and bottle form. Um, and these addicts are not going to be like your uncle and auntie cleaning your house or fixing your car. They're going to be robbing you and um, killing you because they don't know how to work hard. They don't know how to um, do, I guess, typical domestic things. And again, that's just simply my opinion. We, we lack giving and we lack loving because we take so much from ourselves that we don't accept things being flawed. Um, but how do we change this? Because it can be changed. And I'm a growing progress. I don't do things right all the time. I fall in in the midst of the, of the sadness, the madness, all of that good stuff. Um, but we do have the potential. We do have the tools and the avenues to be great. So let's just simply be great. Let's stop being unrealistic of life and struggle because testimony is real. Let's live through one another's documented um, experiences and not gloat in one another's pain because it can too be you. Social media has made a lot of people rich and a lot of people mentally poor. Um, social media is the rise and fall of humankind, which is us at this point. We are the humankind. Um, when I say that, it's to say that we don't have to have direct consumer now. We don't need a Fortune 500 company to run our business. All we need is one follow to follow by a like, by a catchy hashtag, and there you go. There is no more um, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps because we don't have to wear boots anymore. We don't have to pick cotton. We don't have to work as hard as the ones before us. Thus, we lack a lot of respect to them. And once again, I'll get to that as well. Um, we don't have to wear savvy business attire. We can make our money by rock and born rich apparel. Um, I feel like I feel as though we fail as a generation because we don't have respect for the future generations. I'm sorry, for the future generations and for the generations behind us. Um, the ones that came before us, we have this, I did it on my own attitude, and we lack support for other people because we're afraid that they'll be in a better position than we are, um, which is why we're growing, but we're still stuck. Um, and that is where I feel like we don't understand what success is really about. We measure success on popularity, body image, your bank account, how many likes you got on Instagram, and what we perceive to be what is greener in the grass. And that's not really it. Success is within, um, but success is also case sensitive to some people. So, I mean, I can't tell you what to measure success about, but I guarantee you that the people that think that it's all about money or all about body image or about um, what people think about you on Instagram are really unhappy people. Um, I feel as though we have all the necessary tools, especially a form of balance. If one thing we don't know how to do as millennials, we know how to multitask. We are more than proficient at that. Uh, we can go to school, run a home, run a business, pick your kids up from school, still have time for happy hour, and you may have a side piece, as I digress. <laughs> we are great at so many different things, but I feel as though we just need to love ourselves and one another a lot more often. Understanding that nothing in life comes easy. Understand that in order to appreciate what is to come, we must appreciate what has been. And that is all. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Hope I didn't talk too fast. Once again, I would love to hear some reviews and some feedback. And I hope to see you guys soon. I won't be shooting the 15th this month. It'll actually be the 13th. If you know what the 13th of September is, you know this is going to be extra, extra special. See you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one.